Well, hello, everybody. Pastor Matt here with your Daily RPM. Happy Thursday to you. This week, we're speaking about the miracles of Jesus Christ. One of my favorite is in John chapter 11. It is the account of Lazarus. And Lazarus got deathly sick. And as a matter of fact, he ended up dying and they put him in a tomb. And Jesus, by the time Jesus shows up on the scene, Lazarus has been dead for four days. And yet Jesus went to that tomb and he declared, Lazarus, come forth. And the power of God manifested. And that body that was dead came back to life. Here's what I want you to know. There's so many things we can learn from this. Well, one of the things is, is there's just nothing that is impossible with God. I want to encourage you. And, and I know, I, I realize I do, I preach faith and I, I want to teach you. We might as well dream big. You know, somebody said one time, shoot for the moon. And if you miss, you're among the stars. <laughs> I would encourage you today, set your faith high. The second thing is, Lazarus was dead for four days before Jesus showed up. There may be some situations in our life we feel are dead. Maybe it's a dream, a desire. Maybe it's a talent. Maybe it was a season. But there's things that were very important to us that are no longer alive on the inside of us. And I want you to know that God can redeem those things. Don't ever give up on your dreams. Don't ever give up on the things that you feel God has put on the inside of you. And the third thing I would say is very simply this. Once again, God is a God of miracles. And one of the greatest miracles is when we who are spiritually dead become alive. And what I mean by that is when we don't know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we would be spiritually dead. And not that we're terrible people, not that we're, you know, pagans or not that we're out trying to murder anybody, but it's just that we've not been born again. And when we call on Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, His Spirit, He comes and lives on the inside of us, forgives us of our sin, cleanses us of our unrighteousness. Our life does drastically change for the better and we receive what is called the blessed assurance, that knowing that Jesus has saved you. And, and I don't want to make it all about peace and joy, but the fact is there comes such an overwhelming sense of peace and joy of knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And it is the greatest thing that could ever happen to us while we're on this earth. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.